tips for finding relevant sources. Uh, we have been discussing about some of the techniques and tips that how can we find uh, relevant sources, uh, particularly when we are using internet and we are uh, you know, exploring databases. In this session, we are going to talk about some techniques, some tips, which would enable us to access our required sources. So the starting point is that there are so many information sources uh, due to internet and due to uh, the bulk of publications going on. We have got so many you know, opportunities to explore and uh, find a number of relevant sources. But there is a big challenge, and this challenge is that how can we find very authentic, very relevant sources? So of course there are some tips which uh, could be used for accessing your relevant data and relevant um, studies sources. Um, we have so many types of research sources, um, uh, particularly if, uh, uh, if we go through the types of uh, researchers, uh, we have two major types. One is actually the library research, when you just uh, uh, sit on your chair in the library and you read and then you explore and you conduct your studies, particularly like the studies which are uh, carried out in the field like literature. Uh, when you just uh, are sitting on your armchair, and that's why this kind of research is called the armchair research. Then we have another kind of research which is called empirical research when um, experiments are uh, carried out uh, in labs or in fields, and then those experiments are uh, collected and they are reported, right? So one should know that what kind of research is required, okay? Um, a very potential researcher would know the library where, from where the, the researcher would get the information, the library very well. And that's the starting point, that how would you explore your library? And particularly when you are uh, frequently visiting your institutional library, you would know that in which nook and corner, which kinds of uh, you know, books and sources are available, right? So that's the starting point. Know your library. Um, and you must familiarize yourself with the library. Um, there is a facility which is uh, particularly available in European countries and in, in British universities, and that is called Interlibrary Loan Facility. The Interlibrary Loan Facility is that libraries can uh, you know, acquire books, they, they can borrow, they can lend books, which are not available with them, but they uh, are available with some other libraries, right? So that is called Interlibrary loan facility. Uh, so if you uh, require a book which is not available with your library, you can request for this facility if you are studying in, uh, in some good institutions. And um, I think in, in a country like Pakistan, uh, there are such facilities which are available, uh, particularly if you are using HSC Digital Library, uh, which is available uh, at almost every university of the country, uh, which have those uh, digital facilities, right? So you can use those digital um, you know, sources. Then we have some other sources like Google Scholar and um, uh, other online databases which are available. Uh, JSTOR is another facility which could be explored. Um, there is one more facility if you are studying in a European country, particularly in the UK, uh, which is British Library Document Supply Center. And that's a facility which can be acquired and which can be used. Um, you, when, when you are visiting a library, you must know and familiarize yourself with the library catalogs. If you know the catalogs, then you, you must be in a position to find your relevant sources uh, very easily and you can explore further. And for exploring your required material for your research, you must consult with your supervisor and of course with your librarian. Your librarian is someone who can give you a lot of tips which are required. Uh, because librarians are the specialist people, uh, they are the specialized, you know, people who can uh, guide you towards some some sources uh, where you can find the relevant data and the relevant sources. Um, if you are sitting on your computer, your laptop, and you want to explore a relevant field, then the first point is that you should know what are your keywords. The keywords are actually the words which are based on your study, and you are just exploring the available sources uh, with the help of keywords, but there are some techniques, some tips which are required for using your keywords, uh, particularly when you are um, a new researcher and you uh, want to acquire sources which are 
are not easily available. So the point is that you should determine how to, how to you know, finalize your keywords. That what are the keywords which are related to your study, right? So the most simple definition of keywords is basically the content words or the most frequently occurring words of your study, right? So the keywords search is, you know, very, very important. And in the keywords, always use content words like nouns and adjectives and verbs, right? So you should, uh, you know, use your keywords. Then we have one particular technique which is called uh, Boolean logic, uh, which is, you know, named after uh, one British uh, mathematician. And his name was uh, George Boole. Actually, that's the, you know, that's the a technique which is used in order to uh, specify your exploration, your search. And that is like when you are using computer, you must be very, very carefully using these, uh, you know, terms, uh, A-N-D, and, and O-R, or. And you can also use another strategy which is called wildcard asterisk, right? So the point is that if you are using and, right? So the and is basically uh, the word when it is used with, with and, then if you are using, for example, two words, which are joined with this, uh, you know, uh, conjunction and, then you would be definitely um, reaching those sources which have, you know, uh, those, both of those words together, right? For example, if you are exploring, um, you know, ESL and EFL, right? So you are using two terms which are joined with this uh, term and then you would be reaching those sources where both of these keywords are occurring together. So that's a condition, right? Then the second tip is if you are using OR, OR. If you are use, uh, searching in a database and you need to, to explore uh, the sources and you want, uh, you want to just uh, make an option, so you are using synonyms, right? So the synonymous phrases are used and they are joined. You are using two terms, but they are joined with OR, OR. They are not joined with AND, right? So in the case of this search, when the two words are, uh, you know, searched, uh, the, two, the two keywords are searched uh, with the help of this uh, OR, right? So uh, the sources which you would reach would be, you know, having this option. They would be having either of the two words, okay? Either of the two key terms. So that's another tip which must be known to, uh, you know, uh, explorer researchers, particularly when they are exploring uh, the databases and they are exploring required sources through internet. The third term, which is uh, uh, called wildcard, that's basically a strategy when it is used with the help of asterisk, when you are sitting on uh, your internet, uh, right, and you are exploring in the search engine, you are using asterisk, and that would provide some options, right? Like for example, if you are using this first word, C-O-L asterisk R, so that's actually the option. You are directing your sources to search for this keyword, whether um, uh, kind of uh, spellings are not actually required. So that could be like C-O-L-O-R or C-O-L-O-U-R. So both of the uh, you know, possibilities are there. And the sources would be opened having uh, you know, um, any kind of uh, spellings of this uh, word color, right? And similarly, one more example is given. If you are using uh, migrate, right, M-I-G-R-A-T, with asterisk at the end, then it shows that you are interested in this key term with any kind of, you know, spelling. It could be like migrate with E or migrated or migrating, right? So that's, you know, that's just only because of the putting of this asterisk at the end, right? So these are some of the tips which must be known to uh, scholars. And there are some other tips, like for example, you can ask your, your you know, um, internet to, to keep track record of news, right? So one of the tip is uh, that um, keeping up to date, so you are updated and you are just uh, subscribing to this RSS. And RSS is basically the really simple syndication. RSS stands for really simple syndication. And it shows that when you subscribe to this RSS, the feeds and the emails alerts would be sent to you, right? So you would be alerted, you would be just redirected to some of the news, okay? So that's another tip which you can use for your, you know, um, relevant area. 
and wherever you are when you would sit on your uh, you know machine you would come to know that how many you know alerts are there how many news are there news items are coming up to your machine right so that's the benefit of using rss alerts um you can also subscribe to news feeds for the sake of required uh, information and you can also get registered your email with some of the uh, associations some of the organizations who would send you their newsletter and their catalog right uh, like some of the publishers are also sending their catalogs when when uh, there are some new publications or there are some new editions of the book some new issues of the journals are published right so these are some of the tips and um, one more tip is that you can also uh, use is the social bookmarking right so there is one you know a link like site you like right so that's the site you can access when you are sitting on internet and you can use this social bookmarking which would enable you to to access some of your relevant sources and you can also be the very active member of your community uh, because your community belongs to a particular area of research and your area of interest would be highlighted for you and you would be kept updated whenever there is a news item with you so these are some of the tips which you can use uh, for um, you know uh, remaining updated and um, getting those um, you know news items for your research